Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm excited to bring you another new product which I feel is going to answer many of your questions. I'm at least receiving 30 questions on this topic weekly, and that is what extension core do I use with my CNC robot? Uh, many of you have already subscribed to my channel or at least reviewed some of my previous videos where you realize just how important it is with cable selection to use properly shielded cables so that we're not spreading EMI and possibly letting EMI penetrate our system. And if that happens, of course, you're going to have all kinds of issues with ghosting and, you know, switches going off, all kinds of weird stuff. So needless to say, um, after reviewing the market, which many of you have already done, I've reviewed the market, um, there's nothing virtually on the market for CNC industrial use, um, especially on the civilian side. I wanted to come up with an economical solution, and I believe I did. We have two different formats of extension cord that I'm going to offer. The first, of course, is the turnkey solution um, with Leviton plugs already installed. These are 120 volt rated plugs. They are UL rated along with the cable. Um, this is a double shielded 16 gauge, 105 degrees Celsius, 600 volt rated cable. Um, again, the PVC insulation here is industrial grade, super, super flexible cable. Um, because again, we are dealing with CNC use. Um, but overall, I wanted to offer two formats. I will also offer this format to where you just get the connector ends and you guys can tell me the length you need. We can cut it and you can make your own cables. Um, this way you've got, I've got my DIY guys covered and I got the guys that want to go, you know, hit the ground running and just plug and play and make it work. Uh, so whichever way we need to go, we've got it. On top of that, um, again, I wanted to offer it in an eco economical solution because, again, when you're dealing with this type of cabling, guys, double shielded cable is not cheap. Okay, cable in general is not cheap. Quality cable, of course, is not cheap, and double shielded is really at the top end of the pyramid as far as price. So, what we've got here, I've gotten with a vendor to purchase large bulk. Um, again, that's going to help you guys save money because I'm saving money, and again, I can support virtually any length you need. Um, overall, what we've got here is a turnkey solution. This is my uh, 15 foot cable. Again, we do have Leviton plugs, commercially rated. You can see here we do have the industrial insulation on here to keep moisture out. This right here has the Phillips head quick turnkey lock. They only take about one, one and a quarter turns to actually lock. I'm going to just pull this out now and show you what we got going on here. Let's see if I can show you in there. You can see that rubber boot right there and that's a moisture seal. And then over here, of course, we do have our terminal locks, and these are just straight up uh, screw terminals. Now, this is a special robotics cable, so again, you're not going to see the typical colored leads like you would on a regular extension cord because, of course, nothing is made in this market for direct CNC use. What we have over here, of course, is our proper drain. You can see that we use a piece of silicone here, silicone wire for maximum flexibility and heat resistance. And again, it is properly insulated using heat shrink. This is soldered onto the actual ground lead, which you can see right there. And now you have a properly drained plug, which I can tell you right now will dissipate all EMI. Now again, there is no ground loop here. So when you guys do go to actually insulate these, in terms of the ground drain, you want to make sure that you're only connecting this on one end of the plug. Your ground wire will go on both ends, however your ground drain will only be on one end of the cable. You can select it on male or female, really there's no difference. You do not want to create a ground loop, so once again pay very close attention to that, that the ground drain coming off your shield is only going to one end of the plug. Okay, either one end, either the male or the female, it really does not matter. Overall, though, very simple to service. Uh, these plugs only go on in one way. They have actually a little tab right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And that just basically goes in. And you will see her just slide in and lock in place. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So right now, once again, we wanted to do this to where you guys would have virtually a very simple system to work with and that's the big thing I wanted to make it to where you guys can do this yourself and you'll have the proper tools I believe I've done it if you guys do have any questions please don't be afraid to ask a couple updates um, I did find a new vendor like I said for my 16 gauge and actually 18 double shielded cable because double shielded like I said when we start getting into that realm you are dealing with robotics type cable and it is very expensive um, and they know that and it doesn't matter where you buy it it's expensive um, I did get a vendor that now I've lowered my prices. I'm going to be most likely cutting prices on virtually all the cables. I can't see any that I, I won't be doing that. Um, so, of course, with my um, spindle cables, many of you already know 
that already have them. They come in 10 and 20 foot lengths. Um, I've gotten many questions on can I get them in different lengths. Now I can offer it in any length you want. I do have the bulk in stock and I wanted to do that intentionally because many of you do need oddball lengths and of course I want to be able to accompany anything you require. So now you let me know what type of, of length you need. We can go from there. The other thing is this cable is slightly different than my traditional uh, 16 or 163, 16 4, 18 4. Um, it does have the wire or uh, the uh, cable separators which are basically like a twine in between your leads. It is a very very professional cable in the sense that it keeps all your spacing right on your leads. The leads themselves are slightly more flexible than the previous cable. The insulation rating is the same. I'm really happy with this cable. Uh, tin braided copper used on the actual conductors. Very very high quality cable and again most economical because I'm buying in bulk and that saves you guys money and, and again I can save money, you save money, we all win. That's what I really want. Again we want to provide you the most stable system you can get. So again just so you know Leviton connectors we got male we got female um, for my international guys if you need uh, to look in an extension cord of course you can change these connectors if you message me you can buy just a cable yourself purchase the connectors elsewhere um, I'm gonna see if I can get some international connectors it's just difficult because again um, there are different connectors required for any country so it's just difficult to carry specific ones most of the time it'd be more economical for you guys to just buy the cable and you know put on whatever connectors you need overall Although this is the cable you want to go with if you're using this cable you guys are assured if it's properly drained and grounded on, on you use the ground wire on both sides and only drain it on one you will have basically bulletproof protection as far as EMI again tin braided copper is used on the cable along with a mylar foil you guys are very familiar with that um, offering again military grade uh, military grade spec insulation so you're golden um, if you guys do have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. The community is growing, guys. Our database is growing with subscribers, and I'm very, very happy with that. I mean, I, I'm blessed to have the, all of you support me. And the more I grow, the more we're going to grow. Um, I am going to be running some sales this month. I'm just trying to correlate all the numbers. There's a lot of stuff going on right now behind the scenes. As soon as I get that all done, I'm going to be giving back to you as much as possible. I also am going to be having some software packages. I'm working um, diligently to get some computer packages together so that I can start creating cam systems for you guys because I get questions on that all the time um, and I'm really excited about those as well so stay tuned I'm planning on doing some more instructional videos as well because I'm getting more and more questions on retrofits um, for my plasma guys out there I hope now you guys have this cable has really answered a lot of your questions I, I deal with more plasma questions daily so again you guys now have a source to go to as far as your cabling um, and I plan on doing some more DIY plasma kits because I know many of you now are, are looking at um, actually expanding your business model as well and actually uh, incorporating automation. So um, if we're looking at that, I want to definitely, definitely be able to support it and again, support your budgets and not everybody can afford a turnkey system and they really want to learn. So we're going to cover that aspect as well. Once again, I do thank you all. Please continue to subscribe and like. And if you guys do have any questions or any video requests, please leave them down below in the comments. And again, let's stay positive, guys, in the comments. You know, sometimes I've been very blessed in the sense most of you guys have been leaving all great comments um, and productive comments. Every now and then I get a troll like anybody else. But let's just stay positive. Everyone, or I should say most everyone here is learning, and that's the big key. I want everybody to continue to learn. And, and again, learn and make money. That's what we're all here to do. And again, I support you. You grow. You support me. I grow. Everybody wins. It's, it's a perfect scenario. Um, so again, I thank you all. If you need anything, just message me. Again, you can message me at storm, S-T-O-R-M, 2313 at gmail.com, or you can message me through my eBay store. Again, both links will be below. Thank you guys again. Take care.